Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. This is the New Mexico version, first time that we've done this. So we're excited to be hosting here in Santa Fe, New Mexico, next door to the Roundhouse at Rio Chama. Today we have Senator Pete Campos. Thank you for being here today. Well, it's a pleasure to be here with you. In fact, uh, when you said Santa Fe, of course, uh, this place is so mystical. There's a lot of great things that are happening here in Santa Fe. And I say that because uh, we're in legislative session. Right. And along with that, uh, we're taking on a lot of big bills. Uh, sometimes it gets very tumultuous. Sometimes uh, we uh, continue with our relations with each other. Uh, and we're really building, if you will, uh, opportunities for a better New Mexico. Right. And Senator, can you tell us some of your priorities that you're watching this session? Well, there, there are quite a few, but there are three major areas that uh, I'd like to talk about. Okay. One of them, of course, is education. The other one is uh, capital outlay reform. And the third is the three branches of government. Okay. All right, so can you expand a little bit on each one of those? Sure, in terms of education, I really believe that we need to coordinate our entire educational system. Okay. But it begins with early childhood programs and education. So that's gonna be first and foremost. As we go through our secondary system and into our post-secondary system, I'm looking forward in the future to working closely with our cabinet secretaries and ensuring that our entire educational system is coordinated uh, more so than what it is today. Right. So do you think we're close to being where we need to be with early childhood or do we have a long way to go? We're, we're, we're getting there in terms of concept. Uh, we have our home visitations, we're working on nutrition, there are family issues that we need to address so we're doing that uh, by putting more money into the budget for CYFD children, youth, and families, continuing to build, if you will, with the early uh, uh, childhood programs, and then from there, triangulating, ensuring that through the entire process, that whether it be uh, our students at the high school level or those in post-secondary education, eventually, if you will, we'll have uh, an opportunity to get into the world of work. So it's uh, preparation, retention, and completion very important components of what it means to uh, be successful in life. Right. And do your constituents in your area have any top priorities, uh, anything that they've been bugging you about on education? Well, I, I come from a, a large rural area, northeastern New Mexico, so mm -hmm. communities like Raton, Las Vegas, Mora, Santa Rosa, and a lot of small communities in between, and education is definitely their top priority. Mm -hmm. But the education they're looking at is, how do we take care of our young people and then from there make sure that they get into if you will a post-secondary uh, component of education and again get ready for the world of work right. unfortunately in northeastern New Mexico we don't have jobs uh, the way that we'd like to have them so we do have an exodus of some of our young people that go on to the larger areas whether it be Santa Fe Albuquerque or they move out of state but the key is we're working to ensure that they're educated and mm -hmm. prepared to be uh, uh, great contributors in life. Right. Yeah, there's, there's not a lot of companies up in northern New Mexico. So are you looking to try to bring more business to northern New Mexico or more supportive of them you know, venturing off? Well, we're always looking to bring in more business. Mm -hmm. But uh, unfortunately, as we go forward, uh, issues that we do need to address, first of all, will be, of course, education, mm -hmm. our water systems, whether it be in Springer, Santa Rosa, Las Vegas, or the Mora area. So we're working on that. I believe, though, over the the next five to ten years we're going to see a return of our population to the area because of all the work that we've uh, done initially. Right and you have uh, one of your agenda items is uh, capital outlay for reform, is that for, right? For the last 17 years, uh, I've really worked on trying to uh, encourage my colleagues to reform capital outlay in that mm -hmm. process. And the reason I say that because we do have quite a few dollars that are held in abeyance for projects for whatever reason 
were not uh, started. Mm -hmm. And as a result, those resources are being held instead of being put out into communities for projects, which means jobs. Right. So that's going to be a crucial component that we need to work on. Right. And you had a, a third agenda item. What was that? And, and in terms of the third agenda item, talking about the three branches of government. Okay. It's uh, essential, and the reason I bring this up, because oftentimes, particularly with the judicial branch of government, uh, they come in to make their presentations before the Legislative Finance Committee during the interim, mm -hmm. and then the House Appropriations and Finance and the Senate Finance Committee during the session. And within that, as they pro uh, provide services to the public, uh, oftentimes though, when we treat them as an agency, uh, they're coming to us and they're saying, these are the needs that we have. But in reality, as we have it set up, it's the executive, legislative, and judicial branch of government. Mm -hmm. So within that, when it comes to the resources, we truly need to treat them as that third branch of government, whether it be the first branch, the middle branch, or if you will, the third. Right. And um, we're going to wrap it up here in a few minutes. But um, what what do you hope to accomplish during your term in office as a senator? Well, I, I've uh, been in the state senate now for 25 years, been very much involved in everything from policy setting all the way through the budget process. Uh, it would be to continue to build relationships across the state mm -hmm. to help people to better understand what the legislative process entails. And then lastly and most importantly, uh, be as productive as possible so that the people of New Mexico benefit at all levels, whether it be health care, education, economic development, creating jobs, and continuing to let the people across the globe know that New Mexico truly is the land of enchantment. We're New Mexico true. Yes, <laughs> I like that tagline for our, uh, our marketing campaign. <laughs> well, Senator Campos, thank you so much for being here this morning. We really appreciate it. And thank you for all your hard work this session. I know well, it's been a struggle. Erin, I really appreciate it. And thank you very much for this interview. Thank you. Uh, well, that's it for today. Uh, Comcast Newsmakers here in Santa Fe, New Mexico, uh, next door to the Roundhouse. We'll see you next time. I'm Erin Mafletto. Have a great day.